good morning. Uh, yeah, uh, I wanted to sleep some more, but yay. Kitty needed uh, to get out. Um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do today and not all, all orchid related, so uh, I still can't get any media. Um, well, I have some because this one needs a repot, or at least I wanted to give it a repot. And that's because I never did one. This is like Casty Firebird. And this is all the small bark I have. And this is really expensive because it's made by hand. Yes. By hand you say yeah I did it myself I yeah I fiddled around with big pieces until I got this this is about 90 minutes of work um, I'm going to use some uh, aquarium pebbles and a little bit more sphagnum and why that makes you, you say? Well, because I stole it. Uh, <clears throat> hold up. Uh, I saw a video yesterday uh, of a repot by uh, Sunshine Ladies Orchids, and she used small bark, a little bit of sphagnum, and aquarium pebbles. And she had it in a, a shallow pot, and I don't have those. Or at least not readily, readily available, but this could easily be made into a shallow pot and it's large enough so it can grow. This needs to come off and it needs to be centered. Yeah, I'm gonna take off. Yeah, about a third. It should be enough. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm working on my uh, kitchen top because my table is full. Yeah. Um, like Esty, that's for later. Um, I'm going to trim my um, large cattleya, take off all the dead roots and try to get off that hideous basket. First thing I want to do is uh, this one. That's a simple mobile. And yeah, you can see the white spots. And those are probably mealy bugs. Now, I'm not sure if they're alive or not. But not to take any chances. We're going to make them unalive. Um, simple rubbing alcohol. Now I wanted to try it with uh, pure alcohol, but <clears throat> I don't want to burn the orchid alive. So uh, I'm going to uh, mix it up with a little bit of water. Um, just a simple spray bottle cost 50 cents does it yes and you can get them anywhere same as with this stuff oh no yeah oh fill it up a third yeah that's about a third I'll fill it up with water. Yep. And I just checked the entire plant and it's only in the new growth, which is logic because 
new growth is soft and mealybugs probably don't have sharp teeth but I'm not going to soak the whole plant I'm just going to do this and I just hope my theory works oh. Now wait for a bit. It has some pit marks on the leaves, some kind of animal bite, but as I said, there's nothing else. Um, yeah, this one is. No, this is too much damage. We're going to take that off. Um, this does not get a repot simply because, uh, well, yeah, I don't have the media and it looks reasonably alright. Okay, um, treatment against mealybugs, I think, yeah. Yeah, I really hope uh, that's going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah, this needs a lot of work. It is totally encapsulated the block, uh, the pot, sorry. And there are lots and lots and lots of them. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm going to uh, do some cutting and uh, hopefully not wrecking. Right back. Yeah. Uh, this is harder than trying to find Waldo without his glasses. Uh, No, I'm not going to cannibalize the root system because it has a good one. Could be a bit longer, but... And a lot of this spiny stuff still takes up some moisture, but... Yeah, this is... Uh, no, not what I hoped for. Um, There. Uh, uh, yeah, well, sacrifices must be made, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, what do you do here now? Uh, yeah, this is going to be a endless prayer. Not sure if I want to commit to this. Uh, well, it is a little bit tidier, but yeah, and this one doesn't fit in the other uh, in the same bucket as the vandas, uh, my other vandas, so. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop doing this. Or we'll be here till kingdom come. Well, at least I got the hideous piece of metal wire off. Because that looked really, really stupid. This one does not have bugs. None that I can find or see at first glance. <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this one is going um, in front of the window. I'm going to think about uh, yeah, the rest of the plastic pot. Because we'll probably end up with a uh, Stanley's knife. And yeah, blood and horror. Uh, yeah, this is uh, futile. Don't want to do this now. Oh, I have music running, sorry. Wait a minute. One of the best prog rock albums ever. Fragile by Yes. And yeah, sometimes it's really annoying that uh, the YouTube algorithm really picks up everything because I have a video and that was filmed outside and the neighbors had the radio playing and YouTube recognized it so they got a strike didn't get removed but <coughs> but yeah I like to uh, hear some music when I work but that would also be really annoying because I usually play music really really loud um, yeah this is going to be a difficult job making a straight cut in a conical shaped pot yes now a smart person would uh, line out the cut with adhesive tape but the only adhesive tape I have is see-through so that will negate the point uh, well yeah uh, where it needs to be shallow yeah well that doesn't work uh, if I snap it here, the entire pot will crack. Hey! Fire! It's always the solution. Looky here. This one is a bit softer. Same size. Yeah, this one cracks. And this one already has draining holes. That's one problem solved. Good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just about here. Like so. Fire. Control fire. And that's how we do it. This end needs to be cool to the touch. Because if it isn't, it hurts. <coughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, it's starting to uh, get some color. Oh, 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 oh. That's the only thing I'm really afraid of. And that's fire. Large fires. Oh. And... This will be a, a health code violation. Yes. 
Uh, but I've been smoking for 30 years, so even more. So this can't be too much damage, can it? Yeah, I'm gonna pause you and uh, show you the result. Well, it's not the prettiest of pots, but who cares? I don't. Uh, uh, a mixing bowl. Yes. Mixing bowl. Um, and something for the pebbles. And that uh, works the same as perlite, which is also a kind of stone. These are not grow stones, grow stones are made of glass. Yes. Puffy glass. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is not enough. No, it's not. Um, moss. There's something else. Uh, my, they, uh, yeah, the last few videos, uh, I got a few comments about people sawing, uh, seeing orbs. Now I know what they are. They are called spirit orbs, and well, yeah, I'm. <coughs> I'm not such a big believer, but I checked the la last two videos and I can't see them. I haven't been working with moss because when I work with this, you should be seeing orbs by now. The light is coming from behind. Yeah, that's one. But as I said, the latest two videos, no moss. So that's kind of weird. Spirit orbs. Ah, oh, I need something to mix in. Do we have? Yes, we have. Oh, this is. Oh, that's not bueno. Hold up. Yeah, well, um, I don't have packing peanuts, at least uh, not synthetic ones. The only ones I have are made, made of rice. And, well, yeah, those decompose. Yeah, this should be enough. Or else it gets a little over in the pot. I think uh, an even mix of all three ingredients should do. Yeah, there should be plenty of orbs now because when the, moss, uh, the light shines on one of the little moss particles, And I had the same question uh, before, and that was um, in my climbing gym, my own, we use uh, chalk, magnesium chalk for uh, better grip. And that also produces those orbs. Okay. Uh, well, let's have fun. This 
should have been for one of my Oncidiums, but the Feta Pet for the Oncidiums. Oh yeah, that's more than enough. A fast draining mixture. I think I'm going to need some more. No. More rocks? <coughs> yeah, not that more. That's all right. Yeah. Uh, working without planning. Uh, I should have done the orchid first and then the media. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. Lycasti Firebird. Yes. Please don't let me take a knife. Yeah, this is a root system I haven't had yet. Come on, yeah. has really really grown into the pot there we go oh. now I'm not going to disturb it too much a lady sunshine didn't do much about the roots she just chucked it in the pot so I'm going to copy that oh. This is uh, peat and some potting soil with a bit of perlite. First, this one. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, these are strange roots. are flattened by the pot so that's not yeah okay no well that's known behavior I can work with this <laughs> if Rue does this it's dead yeah I'm gonna take off the big ball first that will probably have the bulk of the dead roots There are no crawlies. Oh. Let me create some space. Yeah, that's a really old bulb. Yeah. 
it is clean. This one needs to go. That's good. That's not good. That's good. That's good. Oh, wow. Well, <clears throat> it wasn't that difficult. Uh, yeah, clean up. Okay, that has been fizzing for a while. And now for the crème de brûlée. <clears throat> new pot uh, yeah that's going to fall through the bottom of course um, uh, let me see uh, no no I'm gonna just put it in here Stick. Oh. A little clip of some sorts. Oh, twenty eight minutes. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, uh, basically the repot is done, so I could have used a little more bark, but that would mean uh, another 90 minutes of fiddling around. And yeah, this is pretty. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, yeah, I don't have any materials to do anything more, so that's it. Later.